Hello, in this video we're going to talk about a discrete model with two variables. Up here in the comment section I've put the title of the M file along with the model which is adapted from Sayama in section 4.4. The first thing we'll do in coding this up is to initialize the variables. So one variable we need to make a decision about is the number of time steps. So I'm going to let time steps equals 30 and suppress the output. And if you put this in the code as follows, it just allows you to change the number of time steps quite easily without having to change every line of your code. Next, we'll define what x and y are. So x is going to be an array, and I'm going to set it equal to all zeros to start with. So x equals zeros, one row, by some number of columns determined by time steps suppress the output. Y is the same thing, zeros, one row, time steps for the number of columns. And let's set the initial number for X, which is one, and also at time equals one, Y is equal to one. Let's run the simulation. Now we know what the value of X is when T equals one, but we need to figure out what happens when time equals two. So four, T equals 2 up through our maximum number of time steps. Let's let x sub t equal, well, let's go up here and grab our model, copy paste that, suppress the output, and y sub t is pretty much the same thing except that that's a negative 0 0.5, so I'll put that in there. Let's end the for loop. And lastly, let's visualize visualize the output. Let's visualize the output. So I'm going to do a couple of different plots. First of all, let's do a time series plot. So let's plot one up through time steps on the horizontal axis and on the vertical axis we'll plot x. It's like the number of x's or the number of lions or the number of sheep we have, whatever you're modeling. And let's make that a solid line in blue. Let's make our line width 3. Let's hold on to that and on the same set of axes let's plot what we get for y. So our horizontal axis again will be time steps, one up through the number of time steps. Vertical axis will be y and let's plot this in a dashed line that's red, line width 3. Let's add an X label which is time steps or maybe time is better descriptor there and let's make a Y label called number of individuals or quantity maybe and let's put a legend here we'll put the legend X and Y. Now notice that the order is really important. We first plotted variable X so that needs to come first in the legend and then Y that had the dashed red line that comes second in the legend. Okay so that plots our time series. The other thing we want to do is we want to plot a face space diagram. So I'm going to label this time series plot and we need a new plot for the phase space diagram. And so for this I don't want to rewrite over the figure I've already been working with. So I'm going to create a new figure. I'm going to make a second figure and in this figure I'm going to plot X versus Y and let's label the X axis to be X and the Y axis to be Y. And that looks pretty good. Let's run the code. So figure one and figure two, we've got those. Everything looks good. So we've got our labels on the axes. We certainly have our legend appearing. And so what's happening with this model is we get this sort of oscillatory behavior. And the x quantity or the x values uh, reach a maximum of 1.5 and a minimum maybe negative 1.5. 
and the same thing for y. Well, y goes between 1 and negative 1, but that also oscillates. So if you're modeling, you know, zebras and lions, this is probably not a good model because you've got negative number of individuals, right? You cannot have negative number of lions. Um, but if you're modeling something else, like maybe temperature or your credit card rating or, you know, debt or something like that, um, you could certainly use this sort of model that had negative values. But the point is, is that we coded this up in MATLAB, we see this sort of oscillatory behavior, and when we go over and we look at the phase space diagram, what we see is we see that the X and the Y, they don't run away to infinity or anything like that. They are pretty much trapped in this limit cycle, and around and around they go.